Hi, my name is Zina Sim. Hi, my name is Matthew Soon. And, and we are Education, education and Career, career Guidance, guidance Counselors. Before becoming an ECGC, I acquired more than two decades of human resource management experience. I have held uh, both practitioner and managerial roles across industries. How about you, Vina? Uh, my past working experiences were in marketing and outreach and youth engagement. So I was previously from MOH Holdings where I did the marketing of public health care scholarships. And prior to that, I was from the Ministry of Culture, Community and Youth where I did youth engagement and outreach. I think it's the engagement, interaction and making a difference in the lives of students that attracted me to this role. I can identify with that. In the course of my HR work, I got many opportunities to be able to guide, coach or even mentor students from post-secondary education institutions. It gave me a sense of fulfilment to be able to see that they gain clarity on their future options. Indeed, being an ECGC is a very dynamic role that involves not just counselling work, but also conducting talks, workshops and programmes. I think the multiple hats that I wear in the delivery of ECG services was exciting to me. For me, it was working with a student with autism for his aptitude-based admission entrance to the Polytechnic. Through my journey with him exploring his skills, strengths and even talents, uh, he was so happy that he got a lot of things to share. Thanks for sharing that with me. For me, I remember this SEC4 student whom I saw during O-level results release. She was very disappointed with her results and she didn't know what to do. So after speaking to her and exploring her interests and strengths, she realised she enjoys teaching as well as interacting with little kids. To me, I feel that I'm well supported by a close-knit ECG fraternity which encourage exchange of ideas. I agree with you, Matthew. Our ECG fraternity is made up of people from varied industry backgrounds and working experiences. So we always share our best practices and our resources regularly through our zonal and bigger group meetings. Such a weekly professional development also gives us the opportunity to engage with different industries where we deepen our knowledge of the industry's areas as well as keep up to date on the evolving landscape of these industries. I would encourage those aspiring to be ECGC to know that they form an important part in the personal growth journey of our students, inspiring and actualizing hope. And by way of your guidance to our students that they are able to achieve their goals, make this career very purposeful. That's helpful. I would say be approachable and willing to take the first step to get to know the students because sometimes they will share their deepest fears or biggest dreams but with your encouragement and guidance, you will actually play a part in helping them fulfil their aspirations. <laughs> <laughs>